Alright guys, so we got a whole bunch of news here. Uh, I didn't go and actually do this this morning. I should have, but I didn't. And luckily I didn't because there's more news that has broken out. So we're going to go ahead and talk about all of the JP stuff that's going on for the Thousand Day Celebration. First off, shout out to the Reddit. Thank you all, everyone who has contributed to all the data mining for all of this, uh, for getting us all this information. You have helped us out to find out what the heck's going on. So big shout out here. If you guys are new, go ahead to the Reddit create an account join it's a very good community everyone's very helpful everyone's very informative it's one of the best communities i've been part of so please go ahead and join if you have not already done so with that being said let's go ahead and jump into the news first off let's go over the actual uh, events that are going on thousand day celebration campaign first one is the login bonuses a uh, login bonus one dragonstone one ticket and various stuff every day Special missions, complete special missions, you get a total of 20,000 day celebration gacha tickets. So I will be saving up and doing them, I'll be doing as much of those uh, special missions as I can, and I'll just do one summoning video, and essentially it's going to be four multi-summons. It's kind of, it's similar to the um, pay to play uh, ticket banner that you get for however many dragon stones you use, except it doesn't have anything to do with that. It just has to do with the actual thousand day celebration gacha. So you get up to 20 of them just from the special mission rewards and you can go and summon on that. So I will do that with you all. I had a separate video. I probably, I don't play too often. So uh, at least a JP side. So whatever I have, I'll do with you. Uh, thousand day celebration Dokun Fest. Um, apparently it is going to appear on October 24th, which is tomorrow at 10 o'clock AM JST, which is Japan time. That's awesome. Apparently we have an agility gotcha. Uh, don't know why, uh, just agility only, which is weird. Uh, whatever. Uh, either way, we have an agility gotcha, which is cool. Super battle road. I will be doing this full in depth once I figure out what the heck it is and what's going on with it and how to play. Um, I guess I'm going to try and play it one or tw two times so I can figure out how the heck it works and then go and create a video for you. Uh, someone might have it up already. Well, not already at this point, but we'll probably have up at least how to play it. So maybe I'll be basing it off of them. So you might hear some uh, repeated information there. Uh, I'll be on the Reddit, obviously, because Reddit's going to have really good information. Also on Facebook, TMV, um, or the Gaming Lounge. Go ahead, check me out over there as well. There's probably going to be some information about what's going on there. Um, it's going to be apparently a permanent event as well. And it's going to be available every Saturday and Sunday, which is freaking awesome. Available every weekend event hell yeah i freaking love it unfortunately it's jp instead of global i play global mostly uh but whatever i'm still gonna check it out half stamp doken events are apparently permanent so no more 50 stamina events this is really gonna help out the new players with low stamina and us other players i mean the one thing i liked about the 50 stamina events kinda was the fact that um when i had to go to work or something like that or i just need to consume stamina Ooh, sorry the hiccup um, I, I just go and run an event two or three times and I would get eight hours worth of stamina renewal and I wouldn't have to worry about it. And the fact that it's halved, it's cool for when I'm trying to grind, but since I did most of my grinding during the two year anniversary, eh, I mean, whatever. Anyway, for all of you guys who have low stamina or are new, that's helping you out a hell of a lot. Uh, all super strike events will be half stamina. This looks to be permanent as well for now. Um, we don't know if this is going to go back, but whatever. At this point, it looks permanent. Um, Alone Warriors Last Battle returns, the Legendary Super Saiyan Story event returns, and two times ranking quest mode, which is kind of meh, they should have done three times. But anyway, Legend Defeat the Legendary Super Saiyan is a Broly event, and the Lone Warriors Last Battle is the Bardock event, uh, well, Team Bardock event, I think. Didn't that just end on the JP side? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, special Thousand Day Celebration Mission, so daily, every day, consume 10 Stam, consume 30 Stam for one gosh ticket apiece. Consume a thousand stamina for one uh, GSS or one for one Elder Kai, and then um, you get up to ten Dragon Stones just by clearing up to ten Dokkan events, which is really freaking awesome. So that is the login rewards that are going on right now. I plan on at least doing the ones for the uh, Gotcha tickets. So make sure you go ahead and just log in every day as you typically would do if you played the JP side and go through all these missions. Go ahead and to the Reddit. This is this is pinned right now. Um, next is going to be the banner. The banner is currently live, by the way, and it looks like it has 120 leads in it. I didn't realize that it had 120 leads in it, which is freaking awesome, by the way. So it looks like SSR rate is about 10%. SR rate 60%. Rare rate is 30%. Um, featured rate is 5%. So meh, what can you do with that? Um, 117 SSRs, 136 RS, SRs and rares. By the way, shout out to um, DBZ.space. Uh, go ahead over here and check them out whenever you uh, are looking for information about cards, stats, anything like that. dbz.space is the best place to go. 
uh, for all that information. Featured cards, it looks like it's all, all the freaking Dokkan exclusives, so that's freaking sick. All the Dokkan exclusives are here. Now, it's actually really funny, because I'm looking at some of these, and, like, some of these sets are old, man. Like, old, old. Like, first gen here. This is first gen right here. Um, you get the first gen Gohan. Boo, the one that, that I mean, he's good passive, actually. Uh, the Super Saiyan 3 Agility Goku. I forgot which one was first. Was, it the, was this Goku the first one that was available? I don't know. Um, anyway, that's freaking awesome. Uh, that's the SSRs that are featured, and then the normal cards. Uh, oh, okay, look, yeah, yeah, actually, they have normal cards that are in here, so look at that. Okay, so just to point out, Skinny Boo, Kale, Khalifa, ooh, Bay Khalifa. Uh, we got a whole bunch of other stuff in here. We also have some Dokken Awakenings to talk about. I'm not going to go too in-depth with them, but we're going to talk about them here. Uh, yeah, we have a whole bunch of freaking SSRs. It's just This is just a freaking awesome banner. You guys can essentially get almost anything, and it kind of sucks that they narrowed down the pool of Dokkan exclusives by giving us all of them, but, you know, you have chances to get 120, so some of you might walk away with really good luck. Um, daily missions, as I already said, log in every day. You get one Gacha ticket while you log in, one Dragonstone every day. Um, today, you get the Elder Kai. I got mine, so that's cool. I'm going to feed it into one of my cards. But yeah, um, next we're going to jump into the fact we have a new LR card, guys. LR Gohan Kid. Now, he's nothing like his uh, other LR team counterpart, but we do have an LR. I'm going to go over that in a second. By the way, there is a video on that. I will, will be giving you guys both his Super Attack animations, um, so stay tuned for that. B-Pan Dokken Awakens, which is kind of cool, but whatever. And then we're getting the uh, Grand Elder Kai all types. So my initial reaction to the Grand Kai was that it was going to be essentially a dupe system unlock for the path it is apparently not that apparently it is a super attack increase for a specific attribute type so if you have an intelligence attribute type elder kai um sorry uh grand elder kai then you can increase only the intelligence type of that card for super attack so whatever what can you do um let's go ahead and talk about i'm going to show you those cards in a second too but i'm just going to go over the stats of the um two cards before we go into it uh, well, actually, let me let me, uh, let me do ahead. I'm gonna jump into that in a second. So this is gonna go to the end. Sorry about that. Um, so this is the other gone. This is gonna be available. So uh, shout out to White four five one seven. I don't know who you are, but um, thanks for that information. I, this is the first time I've ever seen. So we're gonna go ahead and follow you because all right, cool. Thanks for showing us that information. Um, anyway, so that's the Gohan. This is the Gohan's card art. I kind of like it. I think it's cool. It has really nothing to do with. Uh, Dragon Ball Z in terms of what I've seen in my... I don't, I've never even seen this in a movie, but this is just still freaking cool. I really like this. He is a physical attribute character. Um, pretty damn awesome. Let's talk about his stats. Uh, all types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 77% up. Now, that is a really good leader ability. People are already giving this guy flack, but I'm going to let you know he is freely obtainable. He's not summonable. You can obtain this LR from the new... Battle, well, I don't want to call it Battlefield, the new event that's coming out, which I'm going to go over. I already mentioned that a little bit before. Um, we're going to do a separate video on that once it's, like, fully available. I know what the heck's going on. But his leader ability is freaking awesome, so it's all types, which is freaking fantastic. Um, and 77% up, so he replaces all the 70% leaders, essentially. Uh, well, to an extent, and we're going to talk about why right now. Passive skill really blows. At the start of the turn, defense plus 10,000 if HP is 50% or below. Key plus 5, attack plus 25,000, and defense minus 10,000. That's why. So at the start of the turn, his attack is, his defense is plus 10,000. Uh, once he drops below 50% HP, he loses that defense buff, and but he gains key plus 5 and attack plus 25,000. Now, a lot of people are giving him flack because, well, A, his defense is going down to crap. Uh, well, not really down to crap. It's just the fact that he's not getting that defense buff anymore. Uh, but 50% or below, that's very rare for you to have it down below 50%. Maybe once or twice you're going to get it to go off. Um, because usually once you get below 50, you want to heal. Uh, so it's only if you have it for the beginning of the turn. And if you're going up against a really hard Dokkan event, you're probably not going to want to chance it. Especially with only a 77% health boost. But whatever. Key plus 5 is cool. And attack plus 25. See, that's the other thing. Attack plus 25,000. First off, it's a flat out boost. And it's only 25,000. Right? Everyone's really upset about that. Anyway, um, his passive really kind of blows, but for who he is as a freely obtainable LR with a really decent pass uh, leader skill, you can't really go wrong. Um, other than the new Spirit Bomb Goku for the 1,000 day login reward, at least from what we're seeing, um, he is going to be the second best leader, and he's probably going to be pretty good for the World Tournament, um, unless we get a key plus four for all attribute types with a, with a nice stat buff like uh, LR Androids plus a stat buff. So it's either going to be that Goku or this guy we'll probably be seeing on the um, 
World Tournament uh, runs. Anyway, so his link skills are the Innocence, Saiyan Warrior Rays, All in the Family, Saiyan Lineage, Z Fighters, Berserker, and Legendary Power. I, I know Gohan usually gets a Berserker. It just sucks again, HP 50% or below. They need to change Berserker to like 80% or below or something like that. That would probably make it a little bit more viable. Anyway, uh, overall, not really great link skills, but for who he is as a character, what do you expect? Maybe he could run alongside... Actually, he can't even run alongside him. I was thinking about the, uh, uh, the actual Spirit Bomb Goku that we're going to be getting. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's him. The next one is going to be the Pan BGT girl, honey thing, um, whatever she is. <laughs> uh, her leader ability, recover 1500 HP per key of character type obtained, which is meh. Uh, passive skill is she will never be your leader. Don't ever use her as a leader. <laughs> her passive is high chance to reduce damage received by 50%, which is freaking awesome if it goes off. Uh, and recover 30% of damage as Delta's health, which is cool. If they actually gave her an attack buff, that recovering would be a lot better. Super attack is supreme damage to the enemy, medium chance to stun the enemy, which is also cool. Her passive and her super attack passive both really play off of each other very well. Link skills are the innocence, more than meets the eye, all in the family, Saiyan lineage, battlefield, diva, GT, and shattering the limit. A whole bunch of key links, holy crap. That's what, two, four, six, seven freaking key. A uh, defense buff, and that, that more than meets the eye sucks, but uh, the innocence is her only attack buff. Anyway, you're not going to really be using her too much unless you're going against Omega Shenron, most likely. Uh, and then you have the Funky Kai's, which we're going to talk about, which is really just the Grand Adler Kai, which this is what he looks like for you, those of you who don't know. He doesn't have any stats. He's only for 40. I'm assuming he's going to be a lot more common, I guess. Um, who knows? Maybe they'll toss him into a friend summon. I don't know. Just, just speculation. Uh, anyway, um, this is going to be the new currency that's going to be available for the new event that's coming out. What the heck was the name of that event again? Um, uh, where are you? This is for the Super Battle Road. This is the currency for Super, ba Super Battle Road, and that's how we are going to get this LR Gohan. Um, anyway, so let's talk about that LR Gohan really one more time. Um, I'm just going to go ahead. You're not going to see this part of the video. I'm just going to throw this up in the background, but these are his super attacks. This is going to be his 12 key super attack. So I love how he uses the power pole. That's freaking fantastic. Um, <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and check out his 18. By the way, his 18 key is... I love the artwork on this. His 18 key is freaking phenomenal. What's really interesting about that is that they did not make him give him a chance to turn into a grade 8. But overall, that's freaking awesome. By the way, by the way, um, about that freaking um, uh, streamable stuff, the uh, the actual uh, the video, huge shout out to Dokkan Info about that. Thank you for that information um, from streamable. Uh, that's freaking fantastic. Uh, so anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. That's all the news, the new information. Uh, I will keep you posted as I find out more information. And uh, yeah, good luck on your grind. And hopefully you all get what you want from this event. I'll talk to you all later.